Hi everybody, it's Amy with Heart and Home Orlando and today we're going to look at a new community here in Winter Garden, Florida. This is Waterside. Now this is a Cal Atlantic community and this is um, one of their homes called the Sonoma and it is a rear entry garage style home. So this community, we really are in the heart of Winter Garden. You are surrounded by beautiful lakes, shopping is right down the street, restaurants, grocery store, pharmacy. This is a great location and this is a great price point for here in Winter Garden, Florida. So. We are gonna take a look at this floor plan, which is called the Sonoma. It's a two-story home, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, just shy of 3,000 square feet. And um, it does have a rear entry garage, so keep that in mind. And when they have the rear entry garages, I really love the way it makes the facade, um, the frontage of the community feel, because you get to drive by, you feel like you're in this quaint little town, because you have everybody's, uh, the front part of their home and the front porches, it really is beautiful. Okay, so as soon as we've come in the front door, over here to the right, you have something that almost every single one of my buyers wants, which is a bedroom, guest suite downstairs, and here you go, right here located at the front of the home, perfect. It's gonna stay neat and clean, so as people come in the door, they're gonna see this beautiful bedroom, and it's a guest room, and it's got its own pool bath, and that to me is the best part of the whole deal, is that whoever gets to stay in this room, whether it's family or whether it's friends, guests, strangers, realtors that wanna come by for a visit, it's a great bedroom with a full bath right here beside it and a nice big walk-in closet. So remember, this home is a little under 3,000 square feet. There is a lot of square footage and usable open square footage packed into this floor plan. Really smartly designed, really love it. They have a great job with their floor plans and their layouts and making those layouts work for families, like real families, not just model home families, but real families. So take a look at the main hub of the home. So you have a great big space here. This is your, fan, your, you know, your family room area. Nice amount of space from corner to corner. Now, one of the things I want to point out so remember, this is a model home, so it is designed and decked out and it is gorgeous and it is stunning. But this part right here, this fireplace, is not necessarily even an option. So you have this wall that's back behind it. Essentially, that's where your wall is. So you actually have more space in this room than it may even appear here on this video. Although, that is a seriously awesome option. I would love to maybe get that taken care of after you move in. You can get someone to install a fireplace maybe. All right, so now look at this kitchen. If you like to cook, to entertain, you like to have friends and family over and mix and mingle, then this is a dream kitchen for you. It is big, it is beautiful, it is streamlined and clean, and boy, will this function for you. So you have this massive island right here, plenty of space over top, and I would do exactly what they did, but they have these great stools that don't have backs on them, they're not chairs, they're just stools that you could just push, tuck right underneath, so they're not impeding your walkable space, but they're totally there and ready to function for you if you wanna sit and have a quick snack, read a book, who knows, have a glass of wine. All right, now take a look at the kitchen. Remember, model homes, they deck them out, so they're adding a lot of extra features, but what they're not adding is the amount of cabinet length that you've got. So take a look at all of the cabinets you would have, all of the counter space that you have. So you have all of this space here. By the way, did you notice that this is a gas community? That's something really important to point out because I do have a lot of buyers that really want those gas communities for cooking. There you go, check this one off, we found one. Over here you've got your area for the fridge and you've got additional space here. You also have this desk area right here which is right across from your pantry. Now, something that's really cute is this right here. This is your laundry room. It's tucked away here right off of the hallway by the kitchen and you can see that what they've done here in this room is they've continued, they've added more counters and cabinet space. They've added a utility sink, and I think this is the cutest daggone thing I've ever seen, is your utility sink with this cute little window right above it. I think that's really cool. Again, you've got space over here, washer, dryer, and there's still more to see here on this first floor because it just keeps going. The layout of these homes, while the lots may, may be more narrow, the, the length of them is really long, so there's so much square footage. Remember, this home is almost 3,000 square feet. Picture a one-story or picture a two-story 3,000 square feet is a lot of space. So now look at where we are. We are in your dining room or your casual dining, however you want to make it. But if you look at how they've designed and decorated this particular home, this really can function and serve as both. This looks nice and formal to me, but it also looks super casual. You can have a sandwich or you can have a turkey, whatever you like. So great space right here. Now, this is another thing that I really like. This additional space right here. So You'll notice that this does not have necessarily a formal living room or a formal dining room, but what you do have is this flex space right here to make it really serve whatever purpose you want. I like the way they've, you know, again, model home, I like the way they've created this space 
kind of as an additional little office space. Nice, very, very nice. You can also use that um, as a, an additional seating area if you wanted to. You know what? You might even want to put a piano right there. Think about that space and how you would use it. Now, I'm going to point out over here you have this triple slider that takes you out to your lanai. So you do have a nice size cover lanai which is really nice. I love the way these areas function because remember in Florida, you're going to probably want to, you know, sit outside, use that outdoor space probably a lot more than you do when you live up north. Now let's keep going because back behind me, directly behind me is the door to your two car garage. So you're going to come in from your garage right here behind me. And then this area over here is like your drop zone area. You can create a space here. If you'd like to drop your keys, your phones, get them charging, your briefcase, whatever you need. You have a storage closet, like a linen closet right here. And then right behind you here is your powder bath. So this is also something really nice. Another thing that, um, you know, I never really thought about it until my buyers started mentioning it. They started talking about where on the first floor that restroom is located. Well, it's all the way in the back of the house. So it's not right up here at front. It's not by the kitchen. It's way back in the back of the house. Now, remember, this is like 3,000 square feet, just shy of 3,000. So we're gonna go upstairs because there's still so much more to see. I'll meet you up there in just a minute. And while we head upstairs, take a look at this amazing amenity center at this community. Okay, so now we're upstairs here at the Sonoma floor plan. And once you've come up this turning staircase, you have a great loft space. Now, yes, I know that you see a room over here. We're going to come to that last because that's the master. So think about that. When you're walking through this home with me right now, we've just come up the stairs and the master will be the first bedroom. But we're going to save that for last because I want to show you this great space up here. Remember, with this floor plan, you get not only four bedrooms, three and a half baths, but you get this great loft space up here as well. So think about you and your family and how you would decorate, design, or utilize this space. You have plenty of room. Look at what they've done here in this model. You have a huge sectional, this huge two ottomans, as well as a counter space here with the TV. You've got a lot of space here in this room, which is really nice. Now right here, one of my other favorite things is you have a closet right here. So if you're using this for a game room, Think about all the Monopoly and Scrabble boards you could put right there in that closet, right? Now back down this hallway because now we've kind of got another whole little wing here. This is where we're going to have our two bedrooms and our full bath. So here is the full bath that's going to work for both of these bedrooms. Now you might notice that there's only one sink in the model, but of course if you want to add an additional sink, not a problem. You can always add that in. So if you've got two kids, you've got two sinks to clean, two sinks to brush teeth and wash face. Okay, so here we are in the back part of the home. This is one of the bedrooms. So again, take a look at the amount of space. You can see that they've got a double-sized bed in here. They've got the nightstands. And again, I like the way they design and decorate these things. Really beautiful. So we have one more bedroom right over here to the side. Again, love it. I love the treatment they did on the wall and the ceiling that goes around. Pretty cool. Really nice space in here as well. I think the rooms are probably comparable size-wise. Size really nice space. Again, you have a nice big bed. You have these two nightstands and you have a big... Um, piece of furniture here that you could utilize as a dresser type effect. Oh, again, over here you had that full bathroom where you can add the second sink if you like. And now we're going to go back up here toward the front of the home and see the master because that is really beautiful. And again, it's so conveniently located right up at the top of the staircase. So you have your own little private little zigzag entrance in here and you have this really big, beautiful master. Well, look at the amount of space that you have in here from corner to corner, which for some reason, everyone likes to talk about the videos and they talk about the corner to corner. So I'm glad you like this feature. Um, I think it's very helpful because I'm a real person standing in a real room. There's a real piece of furniture beside me. So you have a lot of space in this master bedroom. If I can walk in and out without hitting anything, that's pretty good. So look, you have a nice big probably king size bed here. You have two, wow, these are actually really long nightstands, They're like extra long, and there's still space on either side of them. Beautiful windows up here. You have beautiful window here. And now take a look at this master bathroom. Really nice space. This is very open. You know, sometimes uh, master bathrooms are designed a little zigzaggy. And so it, you feel like you're kind of bumping in or turning corners. And this is really big, beautiful, open, wide space, plenty of room. Separate his and her vanities. And then take a look at this amazing shower. Now, if you're the kind of person who likes a tub, you can certainly have a tub and a shower option. But if you like to party in your shower, then this, all that's missing is a disco ball. All right, so, okay, wait, why, don't laugh, stop laughing. Okay, so back behind me is the closet. Now again, take a look at this closet space. 
If you choose to upgrade or to get someone to come and design your closets all fancy, I, I, you know, give me their name and number. I need them to do mine. But this is a great amount of space. This is a great community. It's a fantastic builder. Now remember, I do not work for the builder. I do not represent the builder. I'm simply a realtor here trying to help you who's probably home somewhere sitting on your sofa or your couch. Please don't be watching the video while you're driving. But I hope that these videos are helpful to you and that they are helping you um, learn about this area because Winter Garden Florida is fantastic. It's beautiful. It's a great place to move here and settle down, to retire, to downsize. It's also a great place to raise your family. So it really, it checks off every box for me, which is obviously why I live here. I hope the video is helpful. Please give me a call at 407-848-8042. You can email me at amy at heartandhomeorlando.com. When you go to the um, my website, heartandhomeorlando.com, go up into the right-hand corner where it says wish list. If you click wish list, that will take you to a quick form to fill out so I can know a little bit more about what it is that you're looking for in your hopeful pending move here to this area in Florida. If you like this home, if you like this community, call me so that I can get you in touch with one of their certified representatives and they can give you all the information specific to the builder, to the floor plan, and to the community. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. I hope you liked the video. Have a great day. Happy house hunting.